So today I'm talking about a super unique Omega and it is probably the definition of a sports watch. Stick around, I'm gonna talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Swiss Watch Expo. I'm Jonathan, and I've got a really cool uh, release uh, from 2018, I think, 2017, something around there. Omega um, did a release of an updated version of the Railmaster. Now, the Railmaster, in my opinion, is one of the just most overseen watches that basically you don't actually see funny enough, uh, in the watch world, uh, much less talked about. Um, what I mean by that is this watch is Omega's answer to the Milgauss from Rolex, but done way, way better, I think. Uh, the Milgauss is kind of a polished, uh, scientific watch. This is much more than that. This was built originally for engineers and scientists. So both those being said, those usually uh, two jobs basically work around high magnetic fields. And the whole quintessential idea for this uh, Railmaster for engineers uh, was geared towards trains and scientists and people that needed to keep accurate time for real life scenarios. Um, well, in 2017, 2018, they did an update to it. And I really like it because it's got this full just brushed look. Uh, you don't see this anywhere, even on Rolex watches. You don't see it on the Seamaster or anything like that. They do have some polishing somewhere. This watch does not. This is fully satin polished everywhere. And I really like it because it just is super understated. And at that, the dial has gone ultra simplistic. Uh, it's not a Explorer dial because it does have the 12 o'clock indicator there but it does have you know, the three, six, and nine as well. And then it's got this beautifully done uh, Fotina on the uh, indices, and the dial is very controversial because if you look at it in some lights, it looks purple, and they state that it's black. And that's another thing too, is this is also brushed, and it's got super heavy brushing in it, where you just turn your wrist just right, and you can see just how deep the brushing is, and it's very interesting to look at. Look at. Um, and then the case back is another technology improvement by Omega. This is the NIAD lock system. So they implemented this in uh, 2018 with this watch, where essentially what this is is for the Omega, you know, fan club that have to have absolutely everything perfect. There's nothing wrong with that, but. What this, this special locking system does for the case back is that it gets it upright every single time, no matter you know, where they put it on you know, as far as relation to the case, uh, which is really cool. So yeah, we just got this one in, I think literally a couple of days ago, very excited about it. And I totally wanna get this one for myself. So you need to give me a call or do what you need to do to get this one on your wrist before I do.